Hi guys, this is Dr. Nadavid Keys of Health. COVID-19, the disease caused by the new coronavirus, can cause lung complications such as pneumonia and in more severe cases, acute respiratory distress syndrome. In pneumonia, the lungs become filled with fluid and become inflamed, leading to breathing difficulties. For some people, breathing difficulties uh, can become so severe that, uh, that they require uh, treatment at the hospital with oxygen or even a ventilator. If you are displaying symptoms, you should go get tested and receive proper treatment. Unfortunately, this is a luxury which is not afforded to many people. The medical facilities have been stretched thin. In some places, they're not even accepting patients unless they're displaying severe symptoms. There is no standard medication for COVID as of yet. People are being sent home to ride it out like a normal flu. Now, let me ask you this. Do you use herbal or home remedies when it is a regular flu? Many people do. In one of my videos, I had shared remedies being recommended by a doctor who has had a huge success rate with his clients. In this video, I will discuss the therapeutic benefits of each of the ingredients, herb or spice that was used. I will provide some links to journals and studies which you can refer to to further your research. Since COVID causes respiratory distress and inflammation, which obstructs breathing, it makes sense to reduce the inflammation and along with that, boost body's ability to fight the microbes. Most of the herbs and spices that are used in the remedy I shared with you have well-known antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. Let's start with garlic and onions. Garlic and onions might not smell great, but they are one of the best foods for your heart and lungs. These amazing foods can help in reducing inflammation and fight infection. You really should include onions and garlic in many of your foods as they will help you in cleansing your lungs. And now I quote this from a research which I have linked in the description below. The research has been conducted throughout the world on curative and preventative properties of onion and garlic and promising results have been exhibited in prevention and cure of cardiovascular diseases, cancer prevention, inflammation, diabetes, immune system enhancement, antioxidant, detoxification, digestive disorders, antibacterial, fungal, and viral, allergies and asthma, etc. Another effect that onions and garlic have shown is anti-asthmatic and anti-pulmonary disorders. The compounds derived from the onions have shown anti-asthmatic activity. The anti-asthmatic and anti-inflammatory capacity of the onions is attributed to the presence of sulfur compounds in it. The action mechanism seems to be related to the inhibition uh, in the synthesis of certain enzymes. These enzymes take part in the metabolism of substances which induce bronchial obstruction. Inhalation of pulp and crushed garlic is traditionally used in the treatment of pulmonary disorders in various countries. It's nothing new. The next uh, spice is ginger. Ginger is a spice which has well-known and well-documented anti-inflammatory properties. Foods that have anti-inflammatory properties help in eliminating the pollutants from the lungs. This makes ginger ideal for lungs healing. It also helps reduce breathing problems and lung health. Clinical research has shown that ginger causes significant and rapid relaxation of the airways. This is an ongoing study which will conclude later in the year, but the results it's showing are very promising. According to them, studies done in mouse models of asthma and directly on airway smooth muscle cells demonstrate that ginger blocks one of the critical inflammatory pathways in asthma and thus leads to reduced airway inflammation and relaxation of airway smooth muscle. The next spice is turmeric. Turmeric contains curcumin. This is a compound which helps in self-destruction of cancer cells. It is a spice which has the similar properties of ginger and thus helps in fighting lung diseases more effectively. I'm also going to link a study of curcumin being used to treat lung cancer due to its high therapeutic efficiency. Now, why I'm mentioning it is because the study has found that curcumin has an anti-inflammatory effect in the treatment of primary lung cancer, which is of relevance to us. By inhaling the steam containing curcumin, we want to remove as much inflammation as possible and ease breathing. That's it. 
to give lungs a chance, to give body a fighting chance. The next spice that is recommended is clove. Clove has many therapeutic benefits and it is one of the most celebrated spices out there. It is being used for its therapeutic benefits for centuries. It is relevant to us because of its anti-inflammatory properties. Cloves possess powerful anti-inflammatory properties. This is due to potent phytochemicals that are found in it. According to a Brazilian study, the antioxidant and antimicrobial activity of clove is higher than many fruits, vegetables, and other spices and should deserve special attention. The German Commission e-monographs list cloves as having antiseptic, antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties. Another spice recommended in this treatment plan was cinnamon. Due to its antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and expectorant properties, cinnamon is a good ally in fighting respiratory infections such as sinus infection, bacterial infection, bronchitis, coughing, ear infection, and recurrent respiratory infections. Cinnamon is also a potent virus fighter, and research studies indicate its benefits in fighting HIV, herpes virus, and adenovirus that causes respiratory infections. Cinnamon with honey or cinnamon tea alone is a well-known remedy for asthmatics and also in lowering the effects of common cold and flu. So potentially it can help. The next thing that was mentioned was lemon. Raw lemon has a broad spectrum of antibacterial and antifungal activity. Lemon water is a known remedy. It is full of vitamin C and mixed with honey can have soothing and anti-inflammatory effects on the body. By adding lemon to the steam inhalation mixture, it has a better chance of reaching the upper and lower parts of the respiratory tract. The next thing um, I want to mention is salt. Salt plays a very important role in body's ability to fight off viruses. By gargling with salt water, you give immune system the raw material to make its weapon. Again, I have attached a few studies on this topic in the description below, so make sure you check them out. There was a study done on 2000 Japanese children's use of salt water, and during this study, there was no outbreak of influenza or fever infections. One of the studies found that gargling with salt water could be one of the most effective measures you can use against respiratory infections. Another study done in 2013 also found that people are less likely to get upper respiratory tract infections when they gargle with salt water. Another thing to note here is that all of these herbs and spices have warming effects on the body. And we know that coronavirus doesn't thrive in hot environments. So again, you're creating an unfriendly atmosphere for this virus to thrive. I've always believed that we need to be educated consumers. I believe in handing people their keys of health back in their own hands. You should never believe anyone blindly when it comes to your health. Do your research, find out for yourself whether these remedies have any merit or not. But form an educated opinion. Just because you don't know about something doesn't mean it doesn't exist or it's wrong. Again, these remedies can help protect and prevent respiratory distress from advancing. These remedies should be used by otherwise healthy individuals with no underlying health conditions, people who have developed breathing distress and are not able to get medical help. Of course, reaching out to get medical help is, should be your first step. But if you are desperate and you have no alternative these can potentially save you. I wouldn't recommend these for pregnant women or nursing moms. They should consult their doctor and follow their recommendation. I highly encourage you to read the studies I have linked below and do your own research. This stuff is nothing new. It's old knowledge which has been forgotten and is being revived during desperate times. And it can potentially help the virus from advancing to the next level. Stay well, stay home, stay blessed. I will see you shortly with another video. Until then, goodbye.